a long time since I've vlogged, but today I was like, I think I want to vlog. Today I'm running errands and stuff, so I was getting out of the house. You guys have been asking for a vlog. Things have been crazy, and they're kind of slowing down now as we're getting ready for our trip. I've got to go pick up our, like, travel plans and stuff from our travel agent for our trip for spring break. We're going to Disney World. I'm so excited. If you guys are new to my channel, we went to Disney um, a year and a half ago. It was Christmas, the year before last we were there, and I vlogged it because it was during Vlogmas, and oh, it was so much fun. I'm going to be vlogging this year. I cannot wait. I'm probably going to vlog a lot, and then when we get back, I'll upload like, you know, a video per day of the trip just to spread it out make it more fun and then that way I can I don't have to like cut a lot in case I do vlog a lot of footage which I'm hoping I will because I just love having those memories we seriously go back and watch those vlogs all the time the kids love to watch them and watch themselves um, from the trip I want to vlog more than I did last time because it was just really stressful I was trying to edit the vlog at the end of the day while we were on our trip and the Wi-Fi was terrible it took two days to upload my first vlogmas which did go up while we were there but it just took a few days then I uploaded the second day and that took like the last half of our trip to upload it was just really stressful and I was exhausted so I'm not gonna do that this time I'm just gonna spend the whole time videoing a ton of footage and then I'll edit it all and everything when we get home I got to draw off some packages I got to get some coffee and I need to go to Hobby Lobby. So you guys might not know, you may know, we went to the emergency room last week with Lorelai. She, so she's been on an antibiotic um, and it's got her tummy all messed up and it's so sad. She just like, she doesn't fuss a whole lot but she gets periods where she gets crampy. I'm assuming, she can't tell me that, but I'm assuming she's got diarrhea and it's just so sad. Little girl. She, she just spiked a fever that was too high for a two month old. And so we went to the emergency room, they ended up admitting us, which was just like, I did not plan for that. I did not expect that. So we had to stay, I had to stay the night. Um, Andy stayed back with the kids because I thought I would just be back late. We'll pick this back up in just a second. So what I was saying is, I did not expect to be admitted. I just thought I'd be back late. So I just took her, cause we had Laura, or Skyly and Griffin. Andy had to take Skyly to school the next morning. So I said, you stay back here. I'll just run up there. My stepdad met me. Um, I sent him home because it was getting late and I knew that, I mean, I figured we were gonna be okay cause they just gave her Tylenol. Then they decided they wanted to keep her. And so <laughs> me and Lorelai stayed the night at the hospital. I got zero sleep. Um, so that kind of threw me off last week. That was on Tuesday night. They told me originally I was gonna have to be there for seven days, and I was like, what? But that was not the case. They decided that she was, you know, she was not fine, but she was doing good. They were gonna let me turn her seven day IV antibiotic into a 10 day oral antibiotic. So that's when we came home, and I've been giving her an oral antibiotic. Anyway, that's what's been going on. It's been crazy. I'm going through the SHIT with him. I just like, oh, it's the oh, terrible threes. He is just like always fussing. He doesn't, he's not like not listening. I just can't wait to get him in school. So maybe it'll be good for our relationship, me and his, because we're together all the time. You know, it's just kind of like, be starting in the fall. It was like a pop-up little coffee. It's an espresso on this like little trailer. I'm intrigued, but not intrigued enough to not go to Starbucks right now. Did you want water from here? Huh? Did you say you want water from here or no? I want water. I don't want water. I have like a hundred free I drinks from that. here. They don't have that kind of stuff here, I don't think. There's a bottle in there, put it back. It goes inside here. And then they can chew on it. Put it back in there. Why? That's just how it goes, baby. Look, look at this. Let's get Boo-Boo the bunny. Do you wish you get him the white bunny? Okay. Yeah, I think Boo-Boo would like that. 
I really want to put a rug in my laundry room. So I really like this. I just don't know if it's big enough, but I'm going to try. And I got a couple candles in there. Look how cute this is. Oh my gosh. This is not so cute. They have a lot of Disney baby stuff in here right now. And I just love this color. It's like a hot red, really cute. And Griffin needs some more shorts for Disney. These were just black, so I'll go with like everything. And then just this basic shirt, it's like $2. I went through all of the kids' clothes yesterday, or two days ago, and got rid of so much and realized like how much they needed, which was nice, or like what they needed exactly. So yeah, and I think we're gonna get this for little baby. Little sensory ball. I don't have like any baby toys really. Oh gosh. Now I'm just over here looking at toys with Griffin. She's such a good girl. Yes, she is. That's a pretty girl. She's just shopping with the mamas and the grandmas. Oh, I love you. I love you. Griffin is obsessed with Nerf guns and I can't get him away from them. Griffin. Oh. Hey. Uh uh, look, look. Watch out. Why? This one. This one. Let's knock all that stuff over. You have something just like that. You got it for Christmas. I'm pretty sure it's the same thing, just a different color. He wants this big one. Like, he couldn't even hold it. Hatchimals galore. These were really cool. I wish they would have had more. Griffin loves this movie. The live action, too. But they just have the, these characters. I wish they had, like, them all. They're, this is only, like, $3. They have $100 billion. Like, there's all these. I'm going to get Bobo this, too. <laughs> Not funny. You can put it on the baby car seat. They have a ton of can can, which I've been wanting to try the can cans. Um, but I just never knew what size I would need, so I'm gonna get some here. Look, they're only $16.99. They just have like basics, which is good. If you want like any distressed or anything, you're probably not gonna find them here, but um, I can at least try them out. These look really good and they feel good. I always see really cute ones on Casey Holmes's boutique, Rosie Days, but I just never know what size I need. So I'm gonna try these before I invest in like an expensive pair and they seem kind of high waisted. No, you okay. We're almost done, let's see. We're done, we're done, we're done, we're done now. All right, that was a really good trip at TJ Maxx. I'm gonna run to Target because what I need from Walmart, I'd rather get a Target because Walmart doesn't carry, well, we need groceries, but I don't wanna do that right now. But, let's see, Bill, this thing and stuff. All right, um, I need like Method Cleaner, like the, you know, I like all that cleaner, the Method and stuff, and they don't sell that at Walmart, so I'm gonna go and get that stuff from Target because it's right here. But I'm really happy with the stuff that I found. It's 11.45, so I'm not feeling too bad on time. Um, it was just so nice in there because like nobody was there. They had a ton of baby stuff like rock and plays and the carrier harness carrier things and honest diapers and I just got on him and look at him pouting. <laughs> Something else. Uh, just like a lot of baby stuff, you know, so if you were having a baby or whatnot, definitely go check out your TJ Maxx. You might find some stuff. Yeah, so I'm gonna run a Target. Gotta drop these packages off. Go get our things. I know, I feed you when we get to Target. I'm sorry. <laughs> she was so good at TJ Maxx, but it's time to eat, Mama. How is it? Is it good? Mm -hmm. mm. Don't drop any on your sister down there. <laughs> I bought one of these last week, and I put it in my kitchen because it was going to be lighter and not like be too perfumey in my kitchen, you know? And it is so good. And it's only $5 for this little set. So I'm getting two more. One for my bedroom and one for my bathroom. So really, really like these. And she's going to wear this when we go to 1900 Park Fair on the first night at Disney. Is this not so pretty? 
is we're going. It's like with Cinderella and Prince Charming. So pretty. All right, so I just picked up our stuff for our Disney trip. This is the the travel agent we used. It's, she's local. Um, Sue Smith Vacations. They've been around for like a million years. Hey, it's okay. But I'll show you guys all the stuff, all the things. When I get home, Andy's at home switching TVs in our office. So yeah, see what's going on when we get to the house. Look at this one. <gasps> you see that one? What are you doing? Get the boobies, they got some doobies. The boobies got some toys. What do you do? Hey, where's my other Xbox controller, Dad? Hey, babe, you know what? Huh? I'm missing that other Xbox controller. It's in your it's in your sock drawer. No. The camo one. It's in your sock drawer. You like your toy boo boos? Look how cute the bunny is. That's so cute. Mm -hmm. Go your day. Look at Blue. So Andy was switching our TVs. Um, the one in the office I already told you a long time ago was just so big. So we switched it with our bedroom, which was much smaller. This fits the wall more appropriately. It was ridiculously large. And then, because it, it was our old living room TV, which is like, I don't remember, 65 inch. So now this fits the room much better. This wall's a lot bigger. And then also I had him hang up these shelves that I had Andy, I had Andy hang up these shelves that I had him build a few weeks ago. I think it was like probably two weeks now. I've been telling him about these shelves for like, I don't know how long now. Um, since like before we moved in, when I saw this space, I just knew that I wanted these shelves. It was like the exact same um, style as the house in on Pinterest, you know? I probably told you guys about these shelves um, a long time ago, but yeah, he built these and stained them and then he just hung them. So they're just going to have like decor on them, you know, um, I don't know how I want to style it yet. I really liked how they did it in the Pinterest vlog. I'll put the blog below because it had the plans for these, a fairly easy product project. He built the shelves really quick and then it just took a little bit of time to get him to come hang them. <laughs> but anyways, so I am excited about those. He just hung those up. And I am going to show you guys. I just had got the baby to, baby to sleep. She was really upset. So he just left. They were being loud when I got here. They were like shampooing the carpet and vacuuming the like fans and stuff. So now I'll show you guys what I got um, briefly. Actually, let's go into my office. No, my friends in there watching TV. Let's just do it in various places. So from Target. Um, these are the random cleaning supplies that I got. I got some more of this. I love the purple, the, the lavender, and the green one. I have the green, so I just needed more purple. Um, I needed some electronic wipes. I've never used these, but Andy actually cleaned my computer and our TV in the office um, with some other kind of cleaner, but I did get this, so now I have these, but I've never tried them. Um, I love to clean my glass top glass top whatever this is what i use to clean my stove with it works so so good and i use this every day but when i saw they made like a daily one i just went ahead and got this because sometimes i don't need like the intense clean i just need like a little light clean so i got that and then i was intrigued by these i usually buy this other brand for this but um they didn't carry that at target i usually get those at walmart i saw this though and you just drop them in your disposal and it says it makes the whole kitchen small clean. I'm going to try these. If you've tried these, let me know though. I think they're like $3 for all of these. And the other kind I get comes with two. Oh, I have it actually. Hold on. I have that. This is what I usually get. Lemmy Shine Disposal Cleaner. And it comes with two little foam packs. They're like these little, they kind of look like dishwashing pods um, and you just stick it in there and then you let it like grind it up and everything and it smells so good but the other stuff might be easier but this was like two or three dollars for two. This is 10 uses so if I can get 10 uses that would be better but anyway. Got a couple candles at 
TJ Maxx. I'm gonna take this stuff to my office. Hmm. Can I turn this down for a second while um, I'm on my camera? Hey, what are you doing? Where's the remote? I got a couple of candles at TJ Maxx. I got this, the sand and fog one smells so, so good. And this one smelled really, really good. It's cucumber water, smelled amazing. Mm, I might put this in my bathroom on my shelf. I don't know how much weight they can hold. Hopefully a good amount. I mean, you put them, you know, they have like things inside of them and stuff, but we'll see. Look how big this candle is. I usually never buy the ones this big, but this smelled so good. It's by Sensational and Water Mint. Um, I got this for my kitchen. It just smells like a clean kitchen. I don't know. It smells really good. And I've been really into that natural smell, like where it smells like natural and not so perfumey lately. Ever since like I haven't like been pregnant. I don't know why. It's been very different for me, but I've been enjoying that. So I did get this rug. Like I just told you guys, I'm going to see if it works in my... It was so cheap for $14. Um, the one that I found online that I want is like $50. But uh, we'll see. I really wish I would have got, I forgot to get a rug like thing for underneath it. I forgot about that. I'm gonna hide that for now. I got this random little thing for Skylie. I thought she would think it was cute. They had a bunch of these for like $2. And um, since it was like Finn, you know, they, uh, not Finn, Kristoff, the, um, for like a little boy kind of Barbie ish thing. I got that for her and I got one of these for the baby like I said since she's getting bigger this is for three months and she is almost 10 weeks holy cow wait I need my receipt in case the pants don't fit where's my, my photo um eat your popcorn first and then I'll get it it's in the other room I grabbed this last minute for Andy because he needed something like this for his like toiletries before we go on our trip so I got him this one it's Levi really nice quality toothbrush you know contacts he has more toiletries than I do I feel like so I got this cute little set for Skylie she wants us to sign her up for gymnastics so I thought this was so cute it just says gymnast Griffin hey you're not gonna eat that till you pick up or play with that till you pick up all the popcorn off the ground daddy just cleaned the carpet so this is a cute set by 90 degree it says gymnast ties got sheer sleeves and then these cute little athletic pants with some, you know, fun little uh, sheer cutouts. They, these sets, they bring them out like around this time every year and they're so cute. They have them for even smaller than like her size. This is a six, but um, really, really cute. And they're not that expensive. I think this set was like $10. So really good, really cute. This little shirt for myself, it just like looks like a cute basic for spring and just needed like another short sleeve top I love like a beige color I don't know why I just am drawn to it and then it has like the cinch at the waist hopefully give me some shape I'm just like I've been into buying myself clothes lately because I haven't done it in so long and I feel like it's kind of making me feel better but you know I'm still working on my body after baby number two has been different than number one for sure I got Skylie a set of leggings and um, these were just like pink sparkled just I, I really got them for the purple I thought this might look cute with one of the shirts I made her for Disney and they cinch at the little bottom this I thought was so precious for Lorelai for like on the way home I think no I don't need it on baby turn it off I'm gonna move it so you can play on it and it just zips really precious oh and the little hood has ears look how cute they have this in size zero to three and then like all the way up through baby like up to year i think um i got her three to six months so she's a tall girl she's actually like too big for a lot of her zero to three months even i thought this little shirt was really cute for spring i love this color like this chambray color um so it just looks like this you could wear a tank top under it um a bralette i mean however you're trying to style it i'm probably gonna wear like a tank over it because you know i ain't that confident in my body but it's got a longer but still kind of cropped length so it's not too cropped but it hits right at the top of my waist which is how i like clothes to fit me um especially when i'm in shape i really wanted a new jean jacket the one i have is from 
when we went to Dallas and I vlogged. So you know how long that is. That was like eight years ago and I love it, but it's a little snug and I'm not as like, you know, since I'm still trying to get my like tummy and everything better, I just, I don't like to wear it as much. So I wanted to get like an oversized, not an oversized, but like go up a size in a de denim jacket. So I got a new one and it looks almost exactly like the one I have. So um, it doesn't have any distressing, but it, it just looks really good. I love denim jackets. They just play up. Like I can wear it with leggings and a tank top and put one on and it makes me look a little bit more dressed up. So I think this is a major staple. It was $20, which is good. I even looked at the ones that they were selling at Target and those were like in the 30s. So this is the C C I S O N O denim collection. Feels really good. It's not too stiff. It's not too thick. It's still cropped, um, but I did get a large when normally I would have worn like a medium. But like I said, I didn't want it to feel like tight on me or anything like that. So really, really cute. I like it a lot. They had a lot of denim jackets. So I'm excited about this. Today was one of those shopping trips that like when it came to things for myself, I didn't think on it too much. I just got it because it makes me feel good to like have some new clothes to put on and it's weird because I've been buying more clothes that I would wear if I was going somewhere and I don't go anywhere but I still like to dress up a little in the day it just has been making me feel a little better um like because I don't like to put on makeup every day because I just feel like I just don't like to to take it off at night so I don't really put on makeup but like to have a cute top to put on or something it's been you gotta find your things I feel like when you become a mom grabbed a pair of white tights for Lorelai I got her a pair at Target too in black so I got her a pair of black ones and then these are more sheer like dressy tights and these are more like ribbed so they were both $2.99 though I think $3.99 Target and then I got the can cans I told you guys about so I'm gonna try these on and pray to god they fit they're a little smaller than I would have normally I don't know I'm gonna see I still can't fit into any of my pre-pregnancy jeans um I bought a pair of jeans before we went to Justin Timberlake because I really couldn't fit in jeans and I wanted to wear some and I was just feeling so huge. So I bought a new pair of jeans and that made me happy. And I still can't fit. It's my butt. It's not my legs, it's my butt. Because I can get my old jeans to my butt and to get them over my butt, it's not happening. So um, I'm hoping these will fit me because the one, the next size up, I got a 11.29, but the 12.30 looked really big. So I'm hoping these fit because I do not want to have a moment. Like, I feel like they're going to fit, like, in my soul. But I could be wrong. <laughs> Target, I got Skyly a pair of black shorts to wear at Disney. She needed a pair of just black. Um, and then I got this beautiful dress like I showed y'all. Um, so we're going to 1900 Park Fair our first night when we get to Disney. And it's at the Grand Floridian. And they that's like a more nice resort and then we're eating with like cinderella and prince charming so i just have a dress for skyly to wear a dressy dress to wear she was supposed to wear that to daddy daughter and tickets sold out it was a cluster for the daddy daughter thing really so andy took her on a little date but we didn't dress her up because it was so rainy i dressed her in like a nicer outfit but nothing like the fancy dress she was gonna wear but she'll be wearing that and then I just thought this looked perfect for like meeting Cinderella for Lorelai look at the silver in it it's like stunning and I can't wait to show my mom I told her about it on the phone she's gonna freak out but this is a little sleeve it's a um, sleeveless dress love that it came with this so yeah I think it was $17.99 so really really good for this nice dress and it comes with bloomers so and that was all I got so I'm going to clean up. I have a ton of laundry to do, you guys. It's insane how much laundry I have. It's I never let laundry get this bad. So I'm going to be doing laundry and maybe try to find some stuff to put on my new little shelves. I don't know. See how I want to do that. I've got to finish making a blanket and I've got homework to figure out. So today's just been kind of my off day. And I've been loving it. I'm having a really good day. So I hope y'all are having a good Monday. And um... I'll talk to y'all soon.